<laughs> this video is inspired from a comment that I've got from Lumpy Space. I would answer your question later in this video, pero gusto ko expound yung tanong mo into this question, where best to invest my money? Kasi ito din yung tanong ko sa sarili ko way back in 2014. I had extra money as a student kasi nagbebenta kami ng t-shirt sa school. So instead of giving you the wrong advice, let me just share you the story of my investing journey. The right decisions that I made and the wrong decisions that I made and just pick up what you think will work for you and ignore yung mga ideas that won't benefit you. Again, I was selling t-shirt as my side hustle in college. So that's the reason why I have extra money at that time. Plus, binibigyan pa ako ng allowance ng parents ko nun. So that's the reason why I was able to save 20,000 worth of money. And nung panahon na yun, hindi ko alam yung gagawin ko dun sa extra money kong yun. All I know at that time is I wanted to grow that money and ayaw akong gasusin yung pera na yun on meaningless items. So what are my options at that time? So mutual fund, UITF, and stocks. So those are basic and the common ones that you could invest in. But among all these, yung pinaka-accessible is UITF kasi it was sold by the bank. So yung pinakauna kong investment, security investment, was an equity fund under Security Bank. To cut the long story short, I pulled out the money 2 years later at I lost. So yung 20,000 ko, naging 17,500 na lang. There are two reasons why I pulled out my money dun sa UATF ko. Number one is, ang taas nung pasok ko dun sa market ko, dun sa UATF ko. So there's no gains to be made. So parang walang sense na i-invest ko yung money ko at that time dun sa point na yun. And number two, yung friend ko offered me a deal kasi pumasok siya sa networking. He knows that I'm not just gonna simply join another networking thing again kasi we lost a lot of money the first time around and it was a very very expensive lesson to learn. Now when it is too good to be true, it's bullshit. Now when an investment offered you a double digit return with no risk, that's totally bullshit. Now when someone needs to flex you a car or kaya naman an expensive watch to inspire you to join their business, huwag kang magpapabulag. It's a very very highly effective uh, marketing strategy. I hate to admit it but it works most of the time kasi nga uh, people are not aware and kadiri kasi you're taking advantage of people's weaknesses. And doon ko natutunan yung lesson na not everything that works or brings money to the table is right. You should always be bounded by three things and that's the law, your morals, and the ethics. Okay, medyo nagdi-drip na dun sa story. Going back, I still invested my money dun sa friend ko kasi uh, may utang na loob ako sa kanya and it's really hard to say no to people na may utang na loob ka. Uh, that's the reason why ngayon I, as much as possible, I don't want others to get involved on in the things that I do now. Pero yun, buti lang they were able to deliver and get me back my money with interest, so we're good. Pero yun, la yun na yung last time that I will uh, involve myself into those kinds of shady things. I discourage everyone to involve themselves into those kinds of shady transactions. So, restrict yun lang sarili nyo into legit investments. Doon na kayo sa mga ginogoverned by BSP, SEC, Insurance Commission para meron kayong governing body that will protect your investments. Then, 2016, I discovered making videos. This was the first camera I invested my money in. It's a Xiaomi Yi action camera. Forget how much I bought it because it's the second hand I bought from someone's Facebook post. So yun, that's my very first investment in what you are watching right now. I actually lost that camera way back in 2018 when nag-wakeboard kami sa No Valley. Um, I never saw this video thing of me to last this far when nagsisimula ako. Pero I'm really glad that uh, I invested that money on that camera kasi if not for that, you won't see any of my videos today. Then from there, I started investing more into this passion of creating digital content. Looking back, you'll never really know where an initial investment will lead you. Then 2017, you started trading the stock market. I uh, stopped trading the stock market ng 2019 because I lost 10% of my portfolio. So I come back again this year and yun, yun yung buong investment journey ko up to today. I know ang haba ng kwento, no? but the point that I wanted to make is You'll never find the best investment for you until you give things a try. It's the same with finding your favorite food. Hindi mo malalaman yung favorite food mo until you taste different foods. Until matikma mo yung mga likes mo or yung mga dislikes mong food. And it's the same with finding the right partner or right relationship for you. You'll never find them until you've dated different people or different person. It's the same with finding the right job for you. Hindi mo siya mahanap until you, uh, you experience different working environment. Half of the battle is idea and half of the battle is execution. But the last you have an idea of what you wanted. For example, sa food, gusto ko yung malamig and matamis. But when I, uh, when I try tasting this kind of foods, malamig nga siya, matamis nga siya, pero ba't ganun? Parang hindi ko trip. When it comes to people sa relationship, we have usually yung standards. Parang sabihin mo, ay gusto ko mabait, gusto ko adventurous, gusto ko spontaneous, gusto ko funny. 
Uh, but when you dated someone na it checks all the boxes or alam mo, it ticks all the boxes. Pero ba't ganun? Parang hindi ko pa rin to trip ah. When it comes to job, diba? Parang uh, gusto mo malaki sweldo, malapit sa bahay, uh, good uh, co-working environment, yung mga boss mo gusto mo or trip na trip mo. Pero but sometimes, diba? Parang pagdating mo doon, ando naman lahat. Pero sometimes you, you still find the job not fulfilling. In the most important aspects of life, You'll never find the right answer until you start trying different shit out. What's best for me is not best for you. What's best for you is not best for him. What's best for him is not best for her. So alam mo parang uh, that's why life is so fucking interesting in this kind of sense. Kasi you cannot copy somebody's path page per page. And the moment na kinapi mo yon, that's a, that's the moment you start feeling the test of life. So yun, you could only borrow yung mga ideas. But you have to apply it differently. To better improve my point or case, uh, just, let's just look at the people around me. Yung photographer friend ko, yung best uh, investment niya was his camera. Yung kapatid ko, his best investment was really selling sneakers. Yung friend ko that sells condos, yung best investment niya would probably yung mga condos niya. I think at this point, I already proven my point na the best investment for you is up to you to figure out. Try all your ideas and see what works. Okay, tapos na ako sa idea that I wanted to point out. Balik na tayo sa original question ni Lampy Space. So, yung question niya is, Hi po sir, where can I invest po as a beginner? Meron po akong 25,000 earned from online selling po. So, yun yung original question niya. And actually, meron ng reply si it will be better. So, uh, watch his other beds with all, with as small as 5,000. Pwede nga yan to start an account for stockbroker companies. Alamin mo muna yung risk appetite mo at financial plan. Kailan mo need ang uh, possible returns ng investment mo, short term or long term. For now, better to learn as much before diving into the unknown. So, I totally agree dun sa sinabi ni It Will Be Better kasi lahat naman ang sinabi niya tama. But if there's something na I would add na lang is, pwede mo din i-consider na i-reinvest na lang yung money into your business kasi the mere fact na tumutubo ka or kumikita ka dun sa online business mo, you're probably good at it, ba? So, scaling up or reinvesting your money on the on your online business is probably a good idea then aside from dun sa ibang options na sa typical traditional securities such as yung mutual funds, UITF, stocks, and pag-ibig MP2. I also encourage you guys to engage in sa comment section. I think that's just generally good para dito sa YouTube community natin and I hope talaga na I'm not attracting toxic subscribers. I also encourage you to answer other people's questions sa comment section kasi kahit ako hindi ko alam yung mga sagot sa lahat ng tanong sa akin sa comment section and there's one question that really caught my attention kasi na-intrigued din ako kasi hindi ko alam yung sagot sa tanong na to. So ito yung comment ni Andy. So hello po. I'm interested in investing on mutual funds. Pero saan po kaya mas makakamura ng fees in the long run? Mutual funds directly on company like Sun Life. So, balik dun sa mga investment solicitor ng Sun Life or buy mutual funds through online broker. Salamat po. So, alam mo yun, ah, kahit ako dito, hindi ko lang sagot but gusto ko malam yung sagot ko so ko malam is really, it's really intriguing para sa akin. Hindi ko alam if you could just directly Google this question and you could easily find the answer. But if there's someone uh, who really knows the answer, please let me know in the comment section para mas spread ko dito sa channel ko yung tamang sagot. And yung inisip ko dito is to ask na lang yung friend ko na ins uh, certified investment solicitor. So may license siya to sell uh, mutual funds talaga. So yun, I'll just update you guys later kung ano yung tamang sagot dito. Lastly, I'm planning to do a Q&A video by the end of the month. So if you have interesting questions, shoot them in the comment section down below. Hindi lang tayo limited into financial questions, personal questions are also welcome. Don't forget to write your questions in the comment section para ma-include ko siya in my video. Doon ko nilang din i-update yung tamang sagot about this mutual funds question that I mentioned kanina in this video. Plus shout out to Georgette, doon ko nilang din idadagdag yung sagot dun sa question mo about overpriced uh, online selling. Lastly, remember na I mentioned na I got reconnected with my high school classmates. Another thing that I'm really grateful for during this lockdown was my high school batchmates. For me, this one is the most surprising of all. And yun, we actually recorded a podcast. So if you're interested into consuming uh, audio content, you could search uh, Spotify Jack's uh, podcast. Link in description. Alright, drop those questions in the comment section down below. Alright, see you in the next video. Don't forget to hit the like and subscribe button. Bye!